Um, talk to me about the first day that you put pen to paper or you know, got to your computer and thought, okay, right, I'm going to commit, I'm going to start writing. And how did that make you feel? Well, I mean, it's been, it's been an interesting journey. I think any author or anyone embarking on, you know, anything creative, I think you have these moments, don't you, of really doubting yourself and your choices. And I think in my life, up until maybe about a day ago, <laughs> I thought maybe it's not a good idea to do an autobiography. <laughs> um, but it has taken me a really long time to get here. And I think it's been about a year in the making. And from the, the very first day of committing to do it, quite literally until yesterday, I've had huge doubts regularly. What, what's that voice been saying? I think it's, you know, whether it's the right thing to do, I, I've always had quite, and I love other people's memoirs, you know, I love getting to know people in a way that we don't, you know, until we, we hear their words or read their words off the page. But for me, I, I think maybe because of the world that I came from, you know, being a Spice Girl, being so high profile in the tabloid media from quite a young age, which was quite detrimental to, you know, to me in many ways, that I always saw an autobiography as being quite, you know, salacious or scandalous, and I just thought, that's not the book that I want to write. And I, I met Ollie from Wellwork, and he just said to me, it's your book, it can be whatever you want it to be. And then that's when I started to think about some of the obstacles that I've had to overcome in my life. And, you know, I really like to help people, and I just feel like, you know, anything negative that we experience, we, and any pain, you know, we have to try and find some positivity within that. And I just felt like a book was a great way to, to do that, alongside, hopefully, being entertaining and, yeah, giving people a bit of fun and a bit of an insight behind the, behind the scenes of some of those iconic spice moments. Well, 